Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the DNS server name on your Windows computer. So this should apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 computers. If you're on Windows 10, there are a couple of little fancy ways you can go about doing it, but I'm going to go through the old classic control panel for this video so we can have this tutorial apply for earlier versions of Windows as well. So we're going to jump into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just off, click on the Start button one time. Type in Control Panel. Best match should come back with Control Panel here. You want to just left click on that one time, and just give it a moment here to launch the Control Panel. Now you want to go ahead, left click on the View by up here. Make sure it's set to Category View, and then Network and Internet. So left click on Network and Internet. And now you want to go ahead and left click on Network and Sharing Center. Now whatever your connection type is over here on the right underneath Internet, you just want to left click on it one time. And now you're going to left click on Properties. Again, the name might be different if you're using a Wi-Fi connection or Ethernet. It could say many different things here, but again, just follow along with what I showed going across from whatever your network you were using. And now you want to go underneath Internet Protocol version 4 and then parentheses TCP slash IPv4. Left click on that one time and then left click on Properties. And now underneath the second box, it says obtain DNS server address automatically. Select use the following DNS server address. At this point, type in whatever the preferred and alternate DNS server that you have into this field. Make sure you enter one number inside each one of these sections here, and then just left click on OK. Once you're done making the change, and that's pretty much about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.